So I've made the decision. I've decided to use the Cadillac spindle over the Ford spindle. And there's a couple reasons for it, but the main reason is, is that I think it's just going to be a better pick and the size of rims I can run. I would rather run the big bolt Chevy than the small bolt Ford any day of the week. So I've already gone and I've removed the other spindle out of the Cadillac. Now to make these spindles fit, the bottom ball joint's fine, but the top one I have to drill out to, uh, I think it's 9 sixteenths. It's just a little over half. So I might actually try to, to get this one drilled out before it's in place, because last time it just about broke my wrist. But we'll get both the Cadillac spindles inside this vehicle, and then we'll switch to tie rods, which I'm going to use a combination of the stock Cadillac tie rods, and I'm going to use a combination of the stock Ford steering rack. And then... The last thing that we're going to do is I stole the sway bar out of that Cadillac. So we're going to see if we can find a way to mount this sway bar in this car. So lots of work ahead of us today, so let's get started. So now that we have both of the Cadillac front spindles in here, I have just taken the stock Cadillac tie rods, given a quick cut with the torch, and then put them beside each other and gave them a tack. That's not permanent. That is just to make sure that I have enough space. These tie rods will be sleeved and dealt with in a, the way that's proper to them. And then we started on the next job, which is putting this sway brace in. Now, it would have been perfect if the stock sway brace wasn't ripped out of the frame, but I am going to have to push that up there and give that a tack weld along here because I'm not going to be able to drill and tap. But on the driver's side, I was able to catch the factory bolt, and then I just had to drill one 3 8 bolt. Put a hole through the top of the control arm, through the bottom, and came down through the sway bar. This here is just going to help the car stay tied together that much better. So hopefully the car will last a little bit longer. Again, people, the tighter that you keep these cars tied together, the better they will last. I'm going to come over here to the uh, passenger side now and then attach this sway arm. And, uh, yeah, that's just about all the sway arms and the spindle swaps done. And then I just had to finish the tie rods. So we just finished putting in all this sway brace. Everything was going great. I brought it back down, and yes, I did weld that ball joint in, but I guess I forgot to weld the passenger side ball joint in. So ball joint pulled out, suspension fell and hit the ground, transmission's leaking oil, but the good news is, is that the sway bar mount stayed in. Let's take a look at this. Yep, that's how she's going to look in the derby arena too when she decides to break. So, let's get this put back up and we'll weld that ball joint back into place. Okay, we're all welded back together down here as you see the welds along the ball joint there. Um, again, we will weld those in a little bit better as the thing gets a little bit ready or farther ready to be done. Um, we have our rims drilled out now to fit these because these were small bolt Chevy. Now I drilled them out for big bolt Chevy. There's uh, what the sway bar looks like. All bolted in. Um, I guess the next step is to try to fix up this rad cradle a bit and since it's so just damn mangled. But, uh... I got some parts in the mail today. I got my remote steering hub in. Let's see if I can, uh, cars up on the hoist, obviously. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Yes, you can. You see that there? That's a quick release steering. I drilled it and installed it today. And then, I guess the steering wheel's in the car, so I can't show you that. But I ground the stock steering wheel so that it will be able to hold the quick release. So that way it has the stock wheel in it. There's the passenger side sway bar mount. But, um, yeah, car's coming along great. Can't wait for it to get uh, even closer to being finished. So, I think that's just about it for today. Another job that will be on the list uh, one day next week is build tie rods. And I'll show you guys how I build my tie rods. And it's quite simple. So, stay tuned for that. That's one of the next things to do here.